In Woolwich, people are continuing to reflect on this week's events, which convulsed the suburban community in southeast London. At the barracks where he was based, drummer Lee Rigby is remembered by those who knew him and many who did not. Three days after the young soldier's savage death, there's still an air of disbelief here. The BBC's Newsnight programme last night broadcast an interview with a man who says he's a long-time friend of one of the suspects in this case. He claimed that six months ago, the security service MI5 tried to recruit Michael Adebolajo. He mentioned that they want, uh, initially they wanted to ask him whether he knew certain individuals, basically. Uh, that was the initial issue. But uh, after him uh, saying that he didn't know these individuals and so forth, uh, what he said is they asked him whether he'll be interested in working for them. He was explicit in that, you know, he refused to work for them. This claim is uncorroborated, as is a further allegation that Michael Adebolajo was physically ill-treated and threatened with sexual abuse when he was arrested after he arrived in Kenya last year. They beat him quite badly, and uh, his, uh, you know, his comment was, uh, he said, well, lie. Well, lie means, you know, it's like an oath, say, I'm not lying, meaning by God, you know, that... Uh, I feel shy to describe to you what they did to me. In a dramatic development shortly after he recorded the interview, Abu Naseba was arrested on BBC premises by officers from Scotland Yard. He's now being held on suspicion of terrorism offences, said not to be linked to the soldier's death. Meanwhile, Michael Adebolajo and the second suspect, Michael Adebowale, who were both shot by police at the scene, are under arrest at separate London hospitals, where they continue to be treated for their injuries. A third man arrested later is in custody on suspicion of conspiracy to murder. And searches are still going on at a number of addresses. This is believed to be the home of a relative of the second suspect, Michael Adebowale. The gathering of any potential evidence could go on for some time. June Kelly, BBC News.